All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on the titles for episodes 9 and 10, the lead up and the finale for Game of Thrones season 6. So I'll put the link in the description to winteriscoming.net where this has basically been leaked on uh, Sky Atlantic Germany website. So, uh, and it was correct for episode 8, which is called No One. This was leaked before we knew the title. And so that pretty much confirms it to be true because it said uh, that 8 was No One. And then the last two, so episode 9 is The Battle of the Bastards, <laughs> which I love that one. And episode 10 is The Winds of Winter. Very cool. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. So um, in terms of both, uh, the runtime for No One is going to be 58 minutes. The runtime for the Battle of the Bastards will be 60. And the Winds of Winter will be almost 70 minutes, the longest episode in Game of Thrones history. So that's uh, episode uh, 10, so 9 and 10, which is really what we're talking about. Uh, I already did a predictions video for episode uh, 8, which is in the channel, so you can check it out. I'll put the link in the description as well, so you can also see it there. But uh, just to get my thoughts on the title, since we don't have you know actual descriptions for each episode, Battle of the Bastards, 60 minutes, um, should be pretty awesome. I think that one's self-explanatory. We're going to see in that one. That's like Game of Thrones usually usually episode 9 is like the the finale or the climactic point of each season and then episode 10 is like the aftermath of that. Now it doesn't always work out that way. Some seasons you have kind of episode 10 uh, being pretty a pretty big episode 2. The last uh, couple seasons I think uh, the final episodes have been pretty impress impressive as well. But episode 9 are, are the episodes where we got like uh, Blackwater and just some of the best stuff in the entire series. Um, you know, the, the, was it um, the, 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 uh, the Red Wedding? Uh, not the purple. That was earlier on in the uh, the season. That was different, uh, different than usual. Um, but yeah, so the battle of the bastards should be man. It should be incredible to see. You can see the giant and and uh, John and everybody. We'll see if they're able to get more reinforcements. Um, because right now they're substantially outnumbered. They have the wildlings, but you know they are they don't have that many in terms of actual, I guess, organized, uh, skilled fighters. So will uh, Baelish, a little finger, end up coming to uh, Sansa's aid uh, to save her? Will he, he end up? He seemed to be willing before. So is she? Is he the one she wrote the letter to? It seems most likely. Or will someone else be able to to get there and help? But we know that the Blackfish doesn't have that many uh, troops with him anyway. So it, it probably he he might abandon Riverrun to go. But uh, it's kind of hard to say because he doesn't even have that many anyway to himself uh, to face off against uh, uh, Jamie. So we'll have to see what happens with it. But um, uh, that one I'm looking at as probably being one of the best episodes of Game of Thrones ever, Battle of the Bastards. Uh, and I just love I love the title too. It's just the best. Bowl. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, and then the winds of winter, of course. Uh, so 70 minutes, that one should be incredible as well. Um, picking up after where the Battle of the Bastards leaves off. And I'm thinking winds of winter, you're looking at probably... Uh, some uh, Knight's King, um, you know, White Walker action with the title and something happening mostly focused in the uh, the North. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Clegane Bowl is included this season, uh, if they do go with that and the theory is correct, or if that gets pushed into the next uh, season, into Season 7. I hope it doesn't, but uh, with 60 minutes and 69 minute episodes... It seems like they probably have time for it. I mean, what else will they have aside from that and the, and the battle and everything? Daenerys with a few scenes here, but I don't think she's going to you know, be able to cross just yet. It'll take a while for the Greyjoys to get there, I would think, and probably be next season when she finally um, you know, decides to, to head off for uh, Westeros uh, or maybe even season eight. So uh, that's really all I can say right now about the titles of the final two, man. I can't wait to see them. Battle of the Bastards should be incredible. And uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, which one you're most excited for, and what you think we can read into with the titles and the Winds of Winter, and what you think we'll see by the end of the season. Uh, that's all i got to say for this one. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to thumb it up below. Please share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe for more Game of Thrones uh, videos, including reviews for every episode, predictions for every episode, for the remainder of the series, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again real soon for another uh, Q&A, probably tomorrow as always. It's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya. You better subscribe.